this is my 8 slash 7 slash 2024 trade no not trade recap market recap i did a stream early because i knew the market was not gonna move and i did have a setup though i did have a sub setup but it was past my trading time it was around what time was this it was around 1 30 so i was like yikes nope not nah, no entry setup happened after my past past my trading time so i just called it a day and i, I was awake i'm just like not gonna take it you know what i'm saying not worth it and another session we as well had a setup for sell side but this fair i mean this trade was really strange trade i mean really low rr i mean i wouldn't even have taken it i mean regardless if i would have had a setup or not i would have not taken a setup right over here prior to that the i was confused about the order block and breaker block i was like oh, does this make sense because the market did not break pressure down so how could that be an order block a breaker block right so like yikes so i'll just you know market eventually hit my sell setup i mean my uh take profit over here keep in mind that we had a setup for buys right because why do we had a setup for buys for our auto block this right here went with the daily draw liquidity daily draw liquidity was bullish why are they bullish market started to liquidity and liquidity to the upside right so this for our auto block literally get up as a buy setup to the upside to all the way over here as you can see right over here get up with a buy setup you know i did not take it why did i not take it very simple the daily draw the draw on liquidity that i trade with right but this when i trade when i have like four hour auto block that goes to daily draw on liquidity i don't use them as a i don't use them as a draw on liquidity i use them as a take profit right because that has a chance higher probability of the market going you know saying reversing just like this right but prior to this you gotta keep i gotta keep in mind that when this did happen um something else happened as well uh what happened else uh I did have a really high quality setup to the upside, which was like I think an eight RR, but I did not take it. I mean, I'm saying I didn't. I, I didn't even see it at first. Just to be to be honest, I'm not trying to joke with y'all. No, I'm not trying to say some bullshit like yo, I just took the trade trade. And nope, I didn't. I did at first. I didn't even see it until New York session. I was like, oh shit, we had a bad setup to the upside, but you don't. You know, I, I I like to use a four hundred liquidity. I mean, I I like to use this auto block and uh four hour auto block and breaker block only with the daily draw on liquidity right i usually like to use them as a take profit not as a way to get into the market but in the future i will definitely get a you know recommendation of how i could use this four hour auto block and make it as a draw on liquidity so if i keep on seeing this happen over and over where market usually just this shit right here change the draw on liquidity back to the upside or downside depending right on the bracket auto block or breaker block on the four hour time for the good that goes with the daily journal liquidity if it does not go to daily journal liquidity i will not use it i will go for a different type of take profit right but if it does i, I, I could i could consider it as a change of drawn liquidity because because you know see market touch this to revisit as i said in my live stream the market should definitely do a revisit down here eventually going back up higher boom all right I was looking for a sell setup here in number four and past my trading time. I was like, okay, no more trades, right? So, hey, so I'm talking about timing the market, the best thing, right? The mentioning more market of up. I was looking for sales. Sales had never happened here until old over here, but that's past my trading time. I could have cast a like fucking two, two RR, but hey, it's about building good habits, not bad habits, right? But one more thing I gotta keep in mind at this day, at this other day where market had a huge move down i did have a buy setup but the buy setup you know the low probability setup it was a really low probability setup plus i didn't even take it because you know really probably said that the forward and lucky was bullish so for our uh we're looking for a significant construction that confluence and we had a 50 a four hour buy was bearish for one hour buy is bearish one hour was bearish because there's a fair buy gap prior to this we had something else over here with it right what we had was the 15 minute confluence the same day as this right where we had a 15 minute breaker block which i thought it was fake but if you go back in time same reasoning for this right over here oops same reasoning over this for here is that this this right here was the auto breaker block right so i was like pretty strange because the market never bugs us up but it did give us a breaker block and give us an entry to the upside for a 4 rr right tp was right on the hourly fair value gap but the really low probability as you can see you know the uh, uh the factor check is losing so i did not take this setup even if i would have taken it i mean even if i would have considered taking it i would have not taken it because of the factor check it's a better good habits but i gotta see how this breaker block works usually this right here is you know 
this breaker block you know it, it didn't even break treasure up right but it still got used and that right there was the reasoning for this huge pullback up to the upside but i'll definitely consider that i'll consider that and i'll consider this was a good loss i'll consider that there's no trade there i considered this as well because look he never broke treasure down but guess what he got used right prior to that one more thing is uh yeah that's that and the four hour order block i might consider in the future but yeah that is it and yeah let's build good habits every day but other than that chat just let you guys know my viewers are like going down in my live trading they're going down a lot just to because i'm trying to focus on myself and my trading right and plus you know i'm saying we're gonna have a time to chat and time to live chat you know what i'm saying so from now on from like 8 30 from so from 8 to 8 30 is going to be time to chat from 11 to 11 30 give me time from 11 30 to 12 it's gonna be time to chat from the session for london session from 2 to 2 30 it's gonna be time to chat from uh 4 30 to 5 it's gonna be time to chat other than that i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to talk to nobody keep it focused you know for me and y'all so yeah so now from now on right when he has 4 30 Put a chat on right when it hits 2 30 turn on the chat right when it hits 2 30 turn on the chat just like that right but yeah that is it i'm trying to implement the new the copy thing i'm trying to better it so yeah let's see but yeah there's no trade token these days really mark his ass because of the august month but we'll definitely get better you know what i'm saying this is why we during these, these type of month we want to really have a good risk management we don't want to take dumb trades we really want to be careful because this month can take all of our profits away right so what we want to do is f intensely focus on this month and not lose right not lose a lot we could lose but not lose a lot because this is a really bad month so logic are going to be more higher chance of us losing right so yeah that is it